are you ready to get started? Yeah, can you tell me the words? Um, yeah, I'll help you, okay? Okay. Okay, well, let's press the start button. Uh-oh, it was already running. How do I get it to stop running? Well, we might as well just crop that part off. Does that sound okay? Okay, so um, how about we'll start with introducing ourselves. Introduce, uh, hi, I'm Bianca and this is my mommy. Uh-huh, I'm Lauren, this is Rhapsody Fiber Arts. And we are here to show all of the items in our um, June shop update. Yeah, for yarn. And other sell. stuff too, yeah. And Bianca helps to make the video because she's a cute salesperson. Mm -hmm. And what do you get if we sell some of the yarn? Um, I think I'll get some dollars. Ooh, that's right. And then after we're done sharing all of the new stuff that's going into the shop, we'll also talk about some of the things that we're doing lately. Yeah. Okay, so first we're going to start with this one because this is the most exciting. These are the Five Dyes, Five Dyers Mini Skein sets. How many yeah. do you see? One, two, three, four, five. That's right. These were made in collaboration with Hole in the Wool Yarn Company, Llama Lovejoy, Yarnaceous Fibers, and the Backcountry Knitter. So what we did is we had five local Utah indie dyers. We all voted on five colors of dye, and then we each dyed these mini stains using the same colors, but our own special twist. So this is mine. This is the one from Hole in the Wall. It's like a nice gray with the colors speckled in. Yarnaceous is a really pretty blue-green. Yeah. <laughs> this is the Backcountry Knitters. Yeah. And here is Llama Lovejoys. Yes. So these mini sets, we each, each of these dyers have five sets in their shop available at 10 Mountain Standard Time today, which is Saturday, May 31st. We each have five sets and we're all selling them for the same price. So these actually won't be eligible for the shop preview <laughs> discount. Why are you crying? That was a bit of the yeah. the normal way. Okay. Where I show the color. Okay, you're gonna do the next one, okay? This was just complicated, so I needed to talk about it. Are you ready for the next one? Okay, we're moving on to the next yarn. Okay, so I have my inventory list right here. And we did five dyes, five dyers. That's done. Now I want you to show off these ones, Bianca. Here's Pleasant Street. Yep, so this is soft yarn that's 50% cotton, 50% wool. And it's an existing color we call Pleasant Street. And it's like a dusty Victorian looking purple. And it's even less saturated on the cotton wool base because I use acid dyes. And so the cotton doesn't pick it up and the wool does. I think it's really pretty and it would be great for a summer shawl or something like that. The next thing we're gonna show is this fun one called Pure Imagination. Are you ready? What colors are these, Bianca? Rainbow. Okay, hold them up so we can see them on the camera. Wow. So this colorway um, I made. Yeah, go ahead. See what you want to say. Pure imagination. Yeah, pure that imagination. Is. This is on modern merino DK, which is 100% superwash DK. I have three skeins of these available. Um, and I'm also going to dye it four on sparkle sock, which is a superwash nylon um, Stellina base or Lurex base with a silver toned Lurex. So there will be four on Sparkle Sock, three on DK. And what it is, is I, I already labeled them, so I'm not going to unskein them, but it's just rainbow speckles on a really light pink base. So it's got um, like a wine, red, orange, yellow, green, blue. Yeah? Good? Yeah. So those are inspired by Roald Dahl and his general opus of works. And Pure Imagination is one of the songs from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. So it's supposed to just evoke that childhood literary joy. All right, we have two more yarn colorways to show, don't we? This one, I had a lot of fun with these. So I've been doing a lot of natural dyeing lately. And um, one of the things that I like doing is 
growing my own stuff. So I made a dye batch yesterday that had dandelion, marigold, and turmeric, and I made two batches with it. So can you hold this up with me? This is the first batch and it's variegated. This side is very saturated and this side is a lot less saturated. I did that on purpose by slowly dip dyeing it. And it's like a really deep gold that probably reminds you of like a sports team kind of gold. And um, Bianca's really excited about it. I have one skein on Modern Merino DK, which is that one. I have one skein on Sparkle Sock, which is the silver toned Lurex one. Yep. And I think this is 438 yards for 100 grams. And then I have two skeins on Perfect Sock, which is 463 yards, and that's 7525. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice deep gold, and then it goes to like a canary yellow on the lightest side. The second batch was, um, I could tell that the dye bath had tons of dye left in it. Here, let me get these out of your way. So I made a second patch and it came out like a really nice sunny lemony yellow. So it's, it's lighter than the other one, but still a really nice bright color. These are super fun summery colors. So that one, there's one DK and three perfect sock. And it would be so fun if you were making like a striped sweater or a striped cowl, you could even do the two. They're not that different in saturation for a lot of the skein, but if you look like right there, you can tell that there's a different, different, definite difference in the saturation. Okay, that's all the yarn. So we're going to move on to the next thing. Bye bye. Oh, we're not leaving yet. We still got a lot more to go. Because I, I was so busy this month. What kinds of stuff did we make this month? So much stuff, right? Okay, here's, um, we're gonna, that's all the yarn, we're gonna move on to sewing stuff. So do you remember what these are? Bags. Oh, uh, hot pads. Can you say it nice and loud? Um, here are some hot pads we have right here. Yeah, so these are like pot holders. Can you put them on your hands to show how they work? Yeah, and my mommy made them. So I made, I made several, and the less perfect ones stayed in our house for Bianca. There's one in the play kitchen and one in the regular kitchen, and I've been using these when I'm making bread. They have the nice little pouch there so you can stick your hand right in it, which is helpful for me. So these are just quilted pot holders with two layers of batting in them to protect from the heat. They wouldn't be good if you were like holding something long term in your hands because the heat would eventually get through. But like when I take my Dutch oven out of a 500 degree oven and put it on the stove, it's great for that. What colors do you see? Um, I see. Purple, orange, more purple, white, pink, and more white. Yeah. So I have two of these ready to make, and I have tons of the materials so I can make plenty more. So I'm going to pretend that there's four available, and they're $11.50 each. Okay. Can I take that from you? Now we'll do the sock sacks. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Now we have sock sacks, and I have a bunch of them ready. So hold on. I'll tell you which ones to hold up, okay? This is the simplest one. It's made out of um, a linen fabric that has a metallic thread through it. Maybe if we move it around, you can see the metallic part. But this is Brussels or uh, Kaufman Essex linen, if you're familiar with that. And the lining fabric is actually these cute little rainbows that I designed and had printed on Spoonflower. Mommy, I'm going to go hungry. You're kind of hungry. Can you wait five minutes? So this is a good size for like socks or a small project like a hat. And yeah. let's let's show them what it looks like when you put a skein of yarn in it. Can you grab me a skein of yarn? One that's already wound up like that one. Okay. So we've got a skein of yarn in there. You could probably fit a two skein project in there, no problem. So there's that. And since it, this is the simple one, we're selling this one for $10.50. But then we have these fun, crazy quilted sock sacks. So you hold up this one. I'll hold up this one. So these have patchwork that um, is just fun and wild and random patchwork. Very good. And there's cool tone ones and warm tone ones. Only one side is patchwork. Um, and then quilted. And I've got three of each of those. And it was a great way to use up scraps because I just quilted stuff together no matter what the no matter what the shape was 
and it makes a really nice effect, doesn't it? So um, that one is a little bit smaller, but this has a skein of yarn in it. So again, this would be great for socks or mittens or hat or anything like that. Um, and those are the sock sacks. So they're not all completely done being pieced together, but I can show you kind of what the panels look like. So obviously, if you are interested in one of these and you have you want to pick one out specifically, let me know and I'll send pictures. Oh, you're just sticking yarn in there, aren't you? Okay, and then we have one more thing for the shop update. Do you know what it is? No. What is it? Oh, damn! Can you read the label? Um, uh, peach blueberry jam made with little... Peaches. Made with local peaches. Perfect. With lemon, sugar, and pectin. Yeah, lemon, sugar, and pectin. So this is nice. Um, the nice thing about homemade jam is you know exactly what's in it. This is just peaches, blueberries, lemon, sugar, and pectin. And we made it with peaches local to our neighborhood. We've shared some with neighbors. We've eaten a pint of it already. And this was made in May, so I put the expiration date to be next May, but the USDA really said 18 months is fine on canned goods. So we've got three of these, they're $4 for four ounces. Okay, that's all of the stuff for sale, right? Okay, yeah. so now let's talk a little bit about some fun things that we've been doing. Yeah, like we've, I've been talking about, oh yeah, it's Cha's birthday and we still haven't got presents for him. Cha is your favorite stuffed animal, huh? Yeah, and I had a dream where there was some pirates and they had some treasure in the house for me to find. And so it was my birthday in that dream. Okay. And so we're going to have a birthday party for Cha today. We're going to make a strawberry cake and we're going to decorate. Mm -hmm. And, um, okay, so perhaps the fiber-related fun things that we've been doing. I am providing the prize for um, Huga Canyon's knit-along, uh, read-a-thon, read lit I don't know, literary-themed knit-along. So she's got all these fun um, literary-themed sock patterns. And the theme for June is children's literature. So that's where the Pure Imagination colorway came from. So the June prize for that is this patchwork sock sack and one skein of Pure Imagination on Superwash DK. So that's one fun thing that we've been doing. Yes, very good. Another, what I've been spending a lot of my time on is making masks for friends. So I have a lot of friends and family that are pregnant and need masks for the hospital. And my coworkers are going back into people's homes because we provide therapeutic services for children and families on the autism spectrum and everyone is wearing masks for their sessions. So I've got tons, tons and tons of masks cut out around my sewing machine. And then we've been doing a lot of gardening, right? Yeah. What are we growing in the garden? Um, uh, we were like growing potatoes and penny and put a grainy in the ground and later we we're gonna water it. Yeah, our dog put a, a, dug a hole in the garden and put a dog treat in it, and we're going to see if it grows into a tree. We're also growing strawberries, hoping to make some more good jam with that later. And my favorite thing that we're growing is choke cherries. Yeah, so we can make more choke cherry jam. And we love that. That comes at the end of summer. Yeah, because it's really yummy, and I really like the color of it. The last thing I wanted to show is the next project that I'm going to start for knitting. I'm so excited about is I'm going to use some of my, this was my first batch of dandelion dyed yarn and you can see it's really different. So this is the one we did yesterday with dandelion, turmeric, and marigolds. This is just straight dandelions and it's much more green. And I found the perfect complementary skein in my stash. So check this out. This is Stay Out of the Forest on Merino DK from the Republic of Wool. And it's got those nice kind of scummy greens in it. And look how well it's going to go with this. So I'm going to make the Shelly Summer Tea, I think that's what it's called, um, which is like a scalloped lace summer tea. And I think 